What's up? It's Tachi and welcome to or back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day. You guys seem to love these. I love to make them. So without further ado, give this video a big thumbs up if you like my what I eat in a days and let's get into it. Quick disclaimer before we get into the video. I am not a health professional. I'm not a dietitian nor am I a doctor. So I'm not instructing you on how to eat. You do not have to eat this way. I'm simply just showing you how I ate on this particular day. I eat something different all the time. I have different cravings, different wants that day sometimes I'm less hungry sometimes I'm more hungry so it really just depends on the day and it depends on everyone's different needs and different bodies take it all with a grain of salt let's get into this video all right guys first things first of course a big glass of water this is essential every single morning first thing to replenish my body after a night of sleeping of course if you're watching this go grab yourself a big glass of water and drink it throughout the video Coffee or some sort of tea or yerba mate is pretty essential for me in the morning. So today I decided to froth up some almond milk and make a little bit of espresso and I had a perfect little latte. So at about 10 a.m. I got pretty hungry and wanted to make some breakfast. Today I decided to try out these protein pancakes from Birch Benders. I've never had these and uh, they were pretty surprising. Super easy to make. All you need is water in the mix and just mix it up. And just cook those on medium high heat for a while. They actually took longer to cook than a regular pancake, which I'm not sure why. Uh, I decided to add chocolate chips and bananas because this is my favorite pancake mix. These were pretty good. To top them off, I decided to add some chopped fresh strawberries. as well as this vanilla coconut yogurt. Oh my goodness, this stuff is so good. This mixture of the cream and strawberries literally made the pancakes taste like a strawberry shortcake. It was so bomb. The pancakes by themselves, not the best I've ever had, but with the toppings and everything together, it was pretty delicious, super, super filling, nutrient dense, and really kept me full all throughout the morning. So after breakfast is usually when I'll take my daily supplements. These are Ritual Essential for Women Vitamins. Thanks to Ritual for sponsoring this video. We all wanna do the right thing and keep our bodies healthy in the long run, but it can be hard to get all of the essential nutrients we need on a daily basis. Ritual helps women get all the essential nutrients they need every day. There's no shady additives or ingredients that can do more harm to your body than good. It's a daily too easy to take capsules that provide nine nutrients you need to support a strong foundation for your health. I started taking Ritual at the beginning of 2020 just to ensure sure I have all the daily nutrients I need. What I love about these is that they're vegan, sugar-free, non-GMO, gluten-free, and allergen-free. And the best thing is that it comes out to only a dollar a day to have all these essential nutrients your body needs. So if you guys want to give it a try, you can click the link in my description and use my code TRINGSBY for 10% off your first three months. Check it out down below. So at around 1.30, I had some lunch. I made my pretty much favorite go-to lunch. I just made three tacos with tortillas, cheese, refried beans, and lettuce. Super easy, you got your fats, carbs, proteins, fiber in there. Just throw those tortillas on the pan, cook them up with some cheese, add some refried beans or pinto beans, whatever kind of beans you like. I usually just warm these up in the microwave, add some salt and pepper, and then add them to the taco. And then I top that off with a little bit of lettuce. And then I also remembered that I had an avocado and added some of those healthy fats to the meal. And also I just love avocado. I literally put it on everything. It's so delicious, I love it. Um, so this was my lunch, super easy. Literally took me maybe 10 minutes to make, not even, probably five minutes and filling, protein packed and really good. Like just a solid, good meal. Like I was into it, it was delicious. So around 5 p.m. I was doing a bunch of computer work and I got a little bit hungry so I decided to make some fresh popcorn. I just topped that off with a little bit of garlic salt, Himalayan pink salt, and black pepper. Super easy, crunchy, yummy snack. Also had the rest of the banana from this morning that I didn't finish and a big scoop of peanut butter. This held me over for a pretty long time and I didn't end up having dinner till pretty late so uh, that was my snack. So 
when I finally finished all my work that day, I realized it was pretty late. It was already 9.30 by the time I was having dinner and I was super lazy, just wanted something really quick and easy so I could just eat and go to bed. I decided to make these Gardein chicken tenders. These are my favorite plant-based chicken tenders. They're really, really good. They kind of taste like those dinosaur chicken nuggets. Do you know what I'm talking about? Those ones from like childhood. Those are really good. And these kind of taste like them. They're not as good, but they're pretty good. Um, I eat these all the time. I really, really like them. And I paired these with some veggie fries. These are the broccoli, potato, and white bean fries. I've never had these, but I tried them out today and I really, really like them. I wouldn't call them french fries, but they're like potato fry wedge thingies. And they're really, really good. Like I really like them. Definitely would get these again. Um, healthier than a french fry, but same effect, same deliciousness. So when that was cooking, I had this health shot. Oh my god, this thing, disgusting, literally horrible. But like, the burn is so good that it's like so worth it. It's like horrible in the best way possible. I hate it and I also love it, you know? So as a 20 year old who is pretty lazy to cook at night and doesn't want to order in because it's too expensive, this is a really good meal. I mean, it's not the most healthy, but it's not the most unhealthy. And you just throw it in the oven for about 25 minutes and you're good to go. So these veggie fries were actually surprisingly tasty. I mean, they didn't taste anything like french fries, but they were just like potatoes with a nice little casing. I mean, they were really bomb, especially when I added a little bit of salt to them because they were pretty unsalted. But as soon as I added salt, mmm, bomb. Definitely would get these again. Very, very good. So after dinner, I wanted a little snack, a little dessert. So I had one of these Tofuti dairy-free little ice cream bars. These are really good. And I used to have them as a kid, so it's just like very nostalgic for me. That's honestly the main reason I got these, but fun little dessert. All right, you guys, so that is what I ate in a day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, take it all with a grain of salt because I eat something different every single day, so I'm not instructing you or telling you that this is the way that you should eat. Please don't compare the way that you eat to the way that I eat. We all have different cravings and our bodies need different things, so what I eat may not be right for you. And of course, if you are looking for more structured help, look to a dietitian or a doctor to help you with your eating habits. So thank you guys so much for watching and I love you all so dearly. Don't forget to subscribe down below, click the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video, and also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, at Tringsby, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to go drink a glass of water.